even though we have moved on leaps and bounds in our study and exploration of space and time, there is still so much that is unknown to us. We are aware of our own solar system and the way it orbits around the Sun. We witness the amazing phenomena of shooting stars and eclipses, yet intellectually and intuitively we know there is more out there to discover and understand. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three very important ideas that might launch us into more knowledge and understanding of the vastness that surrounds us. Physicists say there might be another reality right beyond this one. Have you ever looked back on your life and thought, what if? What if you had gone on that tropical holiday instead of staying home? Who would you have met? What would you have experienced? Would it have changed who you are today? Some physicists believe there is another version of you who did go on that trip and is living out the consequences, either good or bad, of making that decision. In fact, they believe there could be multiple versions of you in alternate realities living different versions of your life. This is a favoured analysis called many worlds interpretation. The gist of it is that any situation can have many, possibly infinite, different outcomes. A multiverse, if you will. Wait a minute, you might say. If there are simultaneous realities that different versions of you are participating in, doesn't that go against the law that something cannot be created from nothing? Not necessarily. If you think of it as a big loaf of bread, you slice that loaf of bread and you can do any number of things with it. Toast it, make a sandwich, even turn it into breadcrumbs. All these things can happen from one loaf of bread. Even though you are eating a delicious cheese or ham sandwich from that loaf of bread, another version of you is having cheese on toast. Same loaf of bread, different outcomes. It can be mind-bending to think about other worlds where different versions of ourselves are wondering about living life with a different set of circumstances. Our own earthly experience tells us that this is the only time and existence happening right now. Recently, scientists have been able to create and compare different realities in a lab setting. This is based on a thought experiment from 1961 Nobel Prize winner Eugene Wigner. The experiment, known as Wigner's Friend, outlines the theory that two people witnessing the same event can have different experiences. Kaslav Bruckner, at the University of Vienna, brought the experiment to life using many intertwined particles at the same time. The lab creation of multiple realities is a state-of-the-art six-photon experiment. The conclusion is that two realities can coexist, even though they can have incommensurable results. This leaves the door open to many questions. Can we choose how we observe situations in our lives, or are our reactions pre-wired? Do the choices we make affect other observers? And ultimately, will we one day find ourselves visiting ourselves in another reality? Astronomers have discovered a nearby super-Earth in the habitable zone. The possibility of a habitable planet out there in our universe, or any universe, is an intriguing notion for many people. Would there be life already on the planet? Could humans emigrate there to live if necessary? It is human nature to want to know we are not alone. Astronomers in Hawaii have recently discovered a new super-Earth using the National Observatory of Japan's Subaru Telescope. The planet, named Ross 508b, orbits a red dwarf named Ross 508. Before we get too much further, let's go over a few key things. First off, what is a super-Earth? Super-Earth does not mean the makeup of a planet is better than Earth. It is a classification of planets not in our solar system that are heavier than Earth and lighter than Neptune and Uranus. A super-Earth can be between 2 and 10 times the size of Earth. A red dwarf is the most common star in the galaxy. It's small, as its name suggests, and not as hot as the other stars. What makes the combination of Ross 508 and Ross 508b newsworthy? They are only 36.5 light years away. Ross 508b is a planet four times the size of Earth, and considering what we already know about the mass limit of planets, it's likely a terrestrial planet, meaning its surface is rocky and not formed of gases. It's also in the habitable zone, but this does not mean it can necessarily support life. 
The habitable zone refers to the distance from its orbital star therefore creating the correct temperature to have liquid water present on the surface of the super-Earth planet. If Ross 508b cannot support life for certain, why is there so much buzz about it? Finding a little planet orbiting a dim star is no small feat. The discovery of Ross 508b shows off the success of the technique and tools used to search for exoplanets. This means we could be a few steps closer to finding an Earth 2.0 just in case this one doesn't pan out for our species. Hubble Telescope Spots Stunning Hidden Galaxy Although scientists knew there was a galaxy past the Milky Way galaxy, they were having difficulty viewing it through debris and obstacles in the way. This is why it's called the Hidden Galaxy. Actually, named IC342 and also known as Caldwell 5, this newly spotted galaxy would be considered one of the brightest galaxies in the heavens if it were not for all of the cosmic clutter keeping it out of sight. Caldwell 5 appears near the center of the Milky Way's pearly disk. Viewing it is inhibited by the thick gas, dark dust, and luminous stars in the area. The Hubble telescope is able to somewhat gain vision through space pollution using infrared technology. This gives the light a better opportunity to find IC342 because it does not disperse as readily amongst the dust, giving a clearer photo of the hidden galaxy. Caldwell 5 is a spiral galaxy. Its core is classified as an H2 nucleus, a zone of ionized atomic hydrogen. These zones are active producers of new stars that form over thousands of years. As blue stars are born in the hidden galaxy, they energize their mother nucleus by giving off ultraviolet light, making Caldwell 5 a super bright galaxy hidden behind space dust. As far as neighboring galaxies go, Caldwell 5 is not too far away, a short jaunt of 11 million light years from Earth. Even though it's about half the size of the Milky Way galaxy, IC342 is still quite large with a diameter of 50,000 light years. The glittering direct view of the heart of the galaxy shows off twisted strands of dust, like remarkable tentacles, encircling a dazzling center of hot gas and stars. Less spectacular photos were also taken by the Hubble telescope in 2010 and 2017. As we advance in our understanding of complex theories, wrap our minds around the implications of new discoveries, and bask in the awe of ever-changing technology, we are left with a profound sense of wonder. Questions that we have pondered for centuries, such as is there life in outer space? Could another planet support the human race? Are the consequences for our actions permanent, or is there an alternate ending for our choices? All are closer to being answered than they ever have been before. This is an exciting time to witness leaps in knowledge and have information about explorations literally at our fingertips. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.